Alright, we're going to be taking a look at the bike I'll be using on the next tour. This started out as a 2013 Mongoose Stat. I made a few changes to it. It's going to be a little shaky because I'm doing this on my uh, tablet here, but let's uh, see what we got here. It's, we got the rear rack, pretty standard. Uh, Planet Bike fenders. We have uh, racks for the low rider panniers up front. Uh, additional front rack with a bag which is just a camera bag which is you know permanently attached there because obviously I have no room on the handlebars here. The cockpit is pretty full. I've got the uh, camera mount headlight which is uh, always a good thing to have. And uh, on this side we have a uh, well I've got a Q sheet clip that I uh, just made myself. And let's see uh, the computer mount uh, accessory bar on the stem. This here is just sort of a you know, personal safety item, which you probably don't need. The handlebars on this bike are uh, changed from stock. These are Rise handlebars with bar ends, and of course I've got plenty of mirrors for a trailer. I've got a large two-wheel trailer I'll be using. It has a uh, stem riser on here because I'm over six feet tall. And let's see, the, the seat I know I have a seat cover on there because I'm just getting back into riding, but there is a men's specific split saddle under there. And this is a uh, suspension seat post. So we've got the lock, oversized water bottle here, the lower rack I use for an MSR fuel bottle. The tires were changed from the original knobbies to these Continental Tour Rides, which uh, so far are doing all right. Uh, changed from the large flat pedals to these smaller titanium pedals here. And I had to build my own hitch for the uh, trailer. The trailer I built is fairly large and it's built to hold uh, approximately 200 pounds. But it is just, uh, you know, you bolt it onto the frame back here. Because as you can see, with the rear disc brakes, I've kind of run out of real estate anyway. And let's see, on uh, this side I've changed, uh, not too much, I have a uh, chain guide back here, but although it's not really necessary, it was just there, I've changed the uh, jockey wheels. It started out with uh, 13 teeth jockey wheels, those uh, sort of plastic type things, these are uh, machined, CNC machined aluminum ones, they had 11 teeth, which wasn't really necessary to change, but you know, I just happened to be shopping and I like them, so there they are. A couple of uh, more spoke reflectors on there for a little more visibility on the side. The mountain bike gears are going to come in really handy pulling that trailer. Let's see what else we got going here. A frame bag, and uh, of course, these things really weren't built to put on front racks, so what I've got here, I don't know if you can see here, it's kind of dark, but this is actually the steel plumber's tape that I've just wrapped around the top of the uh, fork there and then ran a bolt through it that, that supports the uh, top rack. And down here below on these low riders, these are really tricky to do on suspension forks, so it's kind of hard to see in there, but if you look at these brackets here, I've got in here. What those are is you can go to these box stores and they have uh, water bottle racks that uh, just attach to your frame. And so I took the mounts of those, which fit pretty good here on these forks, and they're now holding it in this rack here. It's fairly sturdy. I changed the skewers out from the stock. I can't remember if I ordered titanium or if those are just back to the steel ones. And since I am not a cyclist, and uh, the last tour I took, we went through the high deserts and uh, we had to push up some hills and they were a little hot out in the sun. So what I've added here is this bar here. This is a, this unfolds and this actually holds an umbrella. So I have a uh, windproof umbrella. So if I'm pushing up a hill in the desert, which more than likely I'll end up doing, I can put up an umbrella and I'll be pushing this contraption in the shade and believe me this thing is heavy. So I can't think of what else I've got on here. I mean I have, I don't have it loaded now obviously, but I do have the, you know, the rear panniers, a trunk bag that goes on there. Of course the 
front panniers. And then I will probably uh, do another quick video to show the, uh, the trailer that I built, which is uh, I'm going to attempt to use solid 16 inch wheels versus uh, the pneumatic air ones because uh, I get tired of changing flats. And on the trailer, it's you know it's not really all that tough, but you know been there, done that. So this gives you kind of an idea of what I'll be taking. And like I said, this thing is kind of a tank, but uh, should do pretty good. I hope so, because it's got to make it over 5,000 miles. All right, be it for now.